Now, the next calculated field we have is, this is important calculated field now. So the next function which we are going to discuss is lookup related value. Okay. So now let's say, you know, there are some, uh, you know, obviously in a report, the primary business object, everywhere there will be primary business object and related business object. Okay. So let's say you get in a situation where, uh, you know, you need to get data of related business object on primary business object. Okay. So data from related business object on primary business object. Okay, there you are going to use LRV. Okay, for example, if I open one report, so here, for example, let's say this is, you know, one of the worker and, you know, I want managers hired it, you know, workers managers hired it. Okay, so there are two ways we can do. Okay, one is here I just mentioned manager level. manager level one this is a related business object to this worker i mean this business object is storing the details of the manager for you know the workers which we will get you know via this business object so here if you want to get the managers hired you know there is one thing you can just go you can just add manager level one as a business object and you will be able to get the hired it okay so this is one way of getting higher date uh, of your manager on, you know, uh, on this report. Now, let's say there are situations where you cannot add this manager level 01 business object. Instead, you need to get this higher date, manager's higher date on worker business object only. Okay, so here if I run. Oh, okay. As I have added, uh, you know, related business object, so I have to add group column heading as well. Okay, that's the error, uh, you know, it was giving. So when you will get any kind of errors, when you are configuring any reports or anything, just click on the errors, you will get, uh, you know, enough information in those errors. Okay, now if I run this report, Yeah. So here, uh, you know, there are this. This is manager side. Okay. This side is manager side. Okay. Uh, for Steve, I think there is no manager. Is it? Let me see. You can also debug. See, when you run the report, and you know, whenever you see like there is something missing in this report. For example, uh, this the, the first worker Steve. For Steve, uh, you know, manager side is not coming. Okay. So we'll see why is this not coming. You can simply open a new tab open that employee details. These are the things, you know, you will get, uh, you know, when you will be working as an operational, uh, uh, you know, analyst in Workday. Okay, so you can just debug, debug by opening that employee. So let me open that employee, 21002, Steve Morgan, okay. So Steve Morgan, he is the CEO of the company, okay? So CEO can't have any, you know, managers, right? I mean, it's a top level organization, okay? So this is already top. He's already top. That's why you know you you are not able to see higher date. But apart from that, apart from him, see each and every worker is having managers higher date. Okay. Now here in this report, I have extracted managers higher date from a manager level one business object, which is related to worker primary business object. Now I want to print this managers higher date on worker business object, okay? So for that one, we are going to create lookup related value. So in lookup related value, we can get related business object details on primary business object. So here, let us see how that happens. So let's start creating a calculated field.
CF manages higher rate LRV lookup related value on worker worker the business object on which you want to create the field so it's a So worker business object and here you can mention lookup related value. Click OK. Yeah, so lookup field. Okay, so the lookup field is manager level one. The business object field name which you are using, you can use the same here. The lookup field is manager level one. By default, it will populate related business object. Okay, so that manager level one is also on, um, you know, uh, worker business object itself. I mean, that's a related business object. And here you can just mention, you know, this is the business object. And from this, sorry, this is the field. And from this, you need to extract the higher date. So what you can do is here you can just mention I add it. We'll give you an example, another example as well, because here you can see, uh, you know, this is you know, the business object is same. So that's fine. I'll give you another example. Click OK. Yeah. So now you will be able to use this calculated field to get managers higher date on worker business objects. So if I edit this report. Yeah, so see here, worker business object. And here, just paste the calculated field name. Uh, managers added LRV on worker. Okay, and here and this is man normal managers higher date. Okay, so now if I run this report, yeah, see. The date is same, right? 523, 523. Okay, the date is same. So this is the field from the manager level one business object. And this is the field from worker business object. So what I have done is I have extracted manager level zero one business object details on worker business object. So it's a kind of the details of related business object on primary business object. Okay. So there we will be using, uh, you know, LRV. Another example you can think of as if you want to get, uh, you know, dependence age on, you know, worker business object. Okay. So there you will be able to do that via, let me, you know, copy this calculated field. Copy. CF dependence is is lrv on worker 
Ayan, kung sino. Yeah, so here, you know, you need to be, uh, you know, you, you need to check one thing. So basically, in lookup field, you you can use, you know, the, the single instance field. Dependent is a multi-instance field. Okay, dependent is a multi-instance field. Here, if you see in the report, it's a multi-instance field. So for that one, what you have to do is you need to create a single instance field, okay, which we are going to discuss in after some time today. Okay. So once you create a single instance field, you will be able to use that in a LRV. So here, if you see this dependent, this dependent is a multi-instance field. Okay, this is a multi-instance related business object. One worker is having multiple dependents. Okay, so you won't be able to use directly in LRV, but you know if you create a, a, a single instance uh, uh, field for this related business object dependence, you will be able to use in LRV. Okay, so that's what you know I'm going to discuss after some time. Okay, so I'll create uh, you know that instance when uh, that calculated bit when I'll uh, you know create extract single instance. Okay, but at a high level, you know, you understood, right? Like what is, you know, lookup related value. If you need to get the related business object details on primary business object, you will be able to use the, uh, you know, the lookup related value functions. Any question from anyone? Uh, I have a question, Ganesh. Yep, go on. So, uh... Like lookup related value that or directly we can use both the uh, both the way to uh, fetch the value uh, get the value right yes so which is the best best way to do in the project yeah. see wherever wherever you can use see here see this calculated field this is something calculate your values during runtime okay mm -hmm. so this is going to consume some you know efficiency of worker sorry about this. So here, uh -huh. I mean, if you see, if you can extract details directly from related business object, this method mm -hmm. would be advisable. Okay, you use the related business object uh, details here and then you add the field. Okay, but in report, if you will try, see, you can deep dive into just one level. Okay, if you try to get details one more level down, you won't be able to do that. Okay, so there mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you won't be able to use related business object instead you need to create a lookup related value. So what I'm trying to say is, so for mm -hmm. example, here, you know, the managers, okay? Now, if mm -hmm. you try to get managers dependent details, okay? So there is one worker, that worker is having one, one manager, let's see, you know, this one. It's a hierarchy. Then. Yeah, so worker, worker A, okay? Mm -hmm. Is having manager, manager x so here if you this worker is a primary business object okay but this manager is a related business object okay now the next level this is this is one level down okay you are using worker as a primary business object and we are, we are trying to get manager details so this is one level down you are just going one level down now let's go another level down you want managers dependent details so here in this case, if you want to get managers dependent details on worker business object, you will not be able to do achieve via this way. Okay, this way you will not be able to achieve. Okay, you okay. need to create a lookup related value on manager, manager level one business object. Then you can use manager as a business object here and you will be able to fetch that field. Okay, so wherever okay. possible, Wherever possible, you can extract the field from a related business object directly. That would be the recommended way. Okay. But let's say if you are not able to, you know, just call the related business object and get the fields, just, you know, create calculated field because you don't have any choice. Okay. 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 So, but it's good, right? If it's a, a, it's a hierarchy, then it's good to go for a calculated field values. No, so it's see, everywhere, see here, um, in, uh, in this report, basically, I am able to fetch this manager level one. 
okay yeah, now let's yeah. say you are building some condition rule in some business process okay mm -hmm. so there you will not be able to you know call related business object there there you have option right. to call business object okay right. but when you will be configuring condition you 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 will be able to put only conditions based right. on primary business object so there yes. you will need this calculated field this details on primary business object only right okay Okay. Yeah. Got it. So here in the report, it looks like you know we have both the ways, but there you have only one way. Okay. That is the that is to create a calculated field. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But but whenever you whenever you work on any report, okay, and there if it is possible to get data directly from related business object, don't create any calculated field. Just simply you know call that related business object and get the details. Okay. Any any other question? All good. Okay, so you know this uh, lookup lookup related value is uh, is all good. Now let me see what else. Yeah, so here the condition is only. Yeah, so the condition would be here a uh, multiple instance fields cannot be used in LRV if multiple instance fields instance fields fill details are required on primary business object then create esi first esi means extract single instance field okay so this will be the clause and what is esi that is our next you know next topic yeah so now come to related business object these are the employees okay e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 okay and now these are the dependents okay so this is the employee and these are dependents okay so this is this is employee And these are dependents. So for employee E1, there are three dependents, D1, D2, D3. For D2, there are two dependents, D1, D2. And for E3, D1, D2, D3, D4, there are four dependents, OK? So now the requirement is from this related business, from this multi-instance related business object, I don't want each and every details, OK? I just want the spouse details, OK? Uh, or I just want younger child details oldest child details okay so from this related business basically i just want details of one particular instance okay see this is employee this is a primary business object and this is a related business object where there are three instances for one primary business object okay so in these three instances let's say if i want to extract details of one business object just one sorry if we if we want to get the details of just one instance okay how are you going to decide how are you going to build the logic okay where you don't get everything from dependence instead you will get just one instance based on some conditions okay so in these kind of cases for example here there are two child son and daughter you know i want youngest child okay the requirement is to get the youngest child. Okay. So for all the dependents, we want we, we have to extract the youngest child. Okay. So here in this case, we are going to create single instance field. So this is just an example, but at a high level, you will you simply understand in this way if there is primary business object and there is another business object, related business object, which is a multi-instance, which is holding multiple values. 
if you need to get only one instance of related business object on primary business object okay then you will create extract single instance okay then you will create calculated fill function using extract single instance so how exactly we can create that calculated fill let's discuss that so this card create calculated field cf youngest child esi on worker business object so here this mention the worker business object worker business object the function is extract single instance click ok yeah so now for extract single instance okay when you will uh, you know create calculated field then you will be able to see you know multiple options so first of all you know source field so, so the source field is dependent you know we are trying to get details of the dependence so what we will do here is we will just mention dependent as a source field so we are getting dependent, we know we are trying to get dependent details on worker business office. So see here, you know, we have got dependence. Okay. So the source field is dependent in this case. Related business object automatically it will be populated. Okay. Now condition. Okay. So the condition, what I mentioned. So here in this case, we have uh, yeah. So in this case, you know, see for, for each and every employees. There are multiple dependents, okay? And in all those dependents, there is one spouse and others are child, okay? So basically, now in this, so for, for this particular uh, you know, employee, I have to extract the child details who is the youngest, okay? For this A3, I have to extract the child details who is the youngest. So what I'll do is, here I'll create, create a condition first. First of all, the relationship should be child. I don't want spouse here. Okay. Here in this case, the first ever filter would be the spouse. I don't want spouse. Okay. I just want children's. Okay. So what we are going to do is here we will create another calculated field, which we will create from here only. See here when you create, you know, when you click on this, you will see one option to create a calculated field. Okay. So we will create a calculated field here the true false condition calculated field cf relationship is child on dependence i'm um, just mentioning batch 2 for just representation then here you know the relationship we, we need to define on related business object so here we are going to use dependent as a business object. And the function is true false. Uh, true, yeah, true false. Click OK. Here we will define the relationship field.
relationship in the selection list comparison type by default will appear and then here we will mention only child so there will be a lot of relationship uh, you know you will see so here we want child the relationship as child we don't want any uh, you know other relationship so just a child click okay and your condition is filled so basically this condition will check when calculated field will extract dependent details this condition will make sure none of the dependents who is not satisfying this condition will be picked by this calculated so here in this case when i build the condition what it will do is it will just filter out this pause okay now in this calculated field processing will only happen on the on these two for this one on these three okay this as pause details are directly filtered out okay so this condition i built now the condition has been built here okay now sort will i said youngest okay so youngest means smallest so why what i'll do is here i'll just filter via sort field age Okay, we have one field A is independent business object. Okay, so we will fit, uh, you know, we will sort based on A's. Now you have sorted based on A's. So what it will do is here, let's say, you know, son and daughter. Okay, so this son and daughter, this is sorted based on A's. Okay, here, you know, this is sorted based on A's. Okay, first the condition is removing this one from the related business object in census. Okay, then sorting is do something let's say you know we have multiple record in this related business object which is which is satisfying the condition so this sorting is actually doing the sorting based on the fields which you have mentioned so here i have mentioned a's okay so these two are the this this this, this column is for a's so what it will do is it will sort out all the instances of related business object based on a's okay now as all the instances are sorted based on A's, you will be able to define whether you want the first one or you want the last one. So here I'm saying ascending. Ascending means the, the, the children whose age is uh, you know, lowest, that will come first. Right, so let's say you know, there are two child in this particular example. Let's say you know, there are three child, one is two, five, eight. So this is already arranged in ascending order okay whereas this one is not arranged in ascending order okay so this calculated field will uh, will rearrange this recourse in ascending order okay and then what it will do is you sort it based on you know the order in which you want now you just tell you know this calculated field which instances you want to return whether you want the first occurrence or you want the last occurrence or you want any specific occurrence okay so for example in this case this is sorted okay this is sorted based on A's. now the first occurrence means this one this is the first occurrence this is the second occurrence and this is the third occurrence or you can say last okay this is the first and this is the last occurrence okay in between there could be here that there are just three instances it could be if, if this employee is having one more son or daughter, then, you know, there will be two instances between first and last. OK, now you can guide, you know, this calculated field function, like you know, which one this function has to pick. OK, so here as we need youngest child. So basically we are going to pick this one, the first. OK, so here you can just select the first occurrence by default selected. If you want to change, you know, you can just click on that and you will be able to change the occurrence. Okay, so here the first occurrence we want in the file. Now you just click on OK. Your ESI field has been created. Okay, now if you pull, uh, you know, details from this ESI business object, 
or the field this will work as a business object as well as field let me show you how exactly you know this works so now if i want to extract the youngest child details from the worker business object in custom report i will simply use this calculated field on worker business object and get the details so let me show you how Okay, so here worker business object. I'm adding one more row and I'm just getting the single instance field which we have created. So you are able to get this. So ESI single instance. Okay, now you can use this is a single instance field. This will also work as a single instance related business object. Okay, so for example, here when you had to uh, you know get the higher you know higher date from manager business object, you simply add it that manager level level one as a business object, and you directly use field. The similar thing you know we will be able to do here. Okay. So this will return the, the the single instance, the whole instance group. Okay, you will be able to click and you know deep dive. But let's say you know you want to get the name, you want to get the age of that you know youngest child. Okay, you can create another LRV on this one. Okay, using this one, or you can simply just use this as a related business object. You will be able to use this as a related business object as well. Okay, and then I'm just mentioning is. So this will give the youngest child is in this report. So now I, as I have added, uh, you know, this as a related business object, I need to add that as a group column heading as well. Youngest, click okay. I'm adding, you know, everything at the same time because the tenant is very slow, right? So it will take unnecessary time. <clears throat> Yep. Now let me run this and show you. Okay. So see this single instance. So this is basically the youngest child of this worker. Okay. If you open this worker's dependent, okay, then you will see this is the youngest child. Okay. So let me open this employee again. Uh, dependence. Yeah, see. So in beneficiary, if you see, there are three beneficiaries, you know, Steve Morgan has added. Okay. One is spouse and other two are children. Okay. So if we see, if we compare the ease, you can just open this beneficiary. And here the age is 33 years. Okay. Now let us open another child. Let's see what the age of the another child. Yeah. So here, if you see 34 years. So we know what we have done is we extracted the youngest child. So see, in these three dependent details, I had to extract the youngest child and I just extracted the youngest child via ESI. Extract single instance field. Here you can see that instance. Okay, you can deep type. You know, if this this is a you know as this is a uh, you know instance. You will be able to deep dive into by clicking on this one as well. Okay, and here you know if you uh, you know if you notice this field, this is the youngest child age. Okay, this is the youngest child age which I have extracted from this single instance field. Okay, so that's how you know this in extract single instance field works. 
now do you have any question or any kind of confusion with this extract single in sense field ganesh if uh, ganesh if uh, the two kids if they they are like twins if same age there mm -hmm. is no difference so will it returns uh, two kids value or how how will it no so it won't return two kids value at any time it will just you know pick random you know see let's say if you are oh, building okay. one con yeah if you are oh. building one condition and uh, in that condition you know if anyone uh, you know if multiple people are coming okay multiple people uh -huh. is coming so there okay. you know it would just pick random okay or you need to uh, you know sort based on not on age so basically what you in this particular case the age is same right mm -hmm. so there mm -hmm. what you need to do is you in in sorting field you need to put something else for example the first name sort based on the first name or okay. last name in alphabetical order okay so that's how okay. you have to generally uh, you know in, anywhere in, you know anywhere when you give any exams or anything if mm -hmm. your marks and everything is same okay then you know they used to sort your they used to provide your rank either on uh, based on your you know the, the names alphabetical order or based yeah. on the time you know when 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 and when exactly who has finished the exam okay i mean if okay. someone is finished the exam early okay and getting the same number he will secure the rank first okay that's okay. how it happens so okay. bolte also uh, this the main purpose of this field is to generate just one value now how okay. exactly you are designing that's you know your call out okay so you are clear right like you know what exactly this field is doing yeah okay anybody any other question okay you can explore uh, you know this calculated field by you know selecting um, you know nth occurrence or you know second occurrence third occurrence okay you can explore you can just you know try some different uh, uh, you know assign uh, uh, try different scenarios where you know you, you just try to extract uh, you know some values from related business object so there you you know you define your own criteria and then you know you try to extract the nth number of occurrences here i just use you know first occurrence or last occurrence but you can use nth occurrence as well you can try that you know at home so if you face any issues uh, you know you just let me know but you know this is what this extract single instance field does okay now if you want you know similarly for managers higher date i created one alav okay so here also you know if i if i don't want to use this related business object as a business object in custom report and i want this detail on worker business object okay i will be able to do that via alav look up related value okay because now this has become a related business object on worker business object so if you want to get the details from related business object on primary business object you will be able to use alav look up related value okay so we have covered this extract single in sense now the next is next is extract multi in sense <clears throat> extract single instance now the next is extract multi instance okay so now in this particular example in excel sheet here here what we have to do is see in extract single instance what we did in all the related business object instances i just pulled one okay i just pulled one now let's say if you want to pull multiple child i mean if you want to pull all the child okay if you want to pull all the child basically in these three uh, instances you need to pull multiple instances for for this particular example you need to pull the son and daughter details for this particular example also you need to pull son and daughter details so there are three son sorry there are two son one daughter three child details okay earlier we were extracting just one okay now we have to extract we have to just leave pause okay we don't need pause but we need to extract all the child details okay so now in this case we are going to create extract multi, multi instance field so let's see how can we create multi instance field create calc field
HDF child details on EMI extract maintenance on worker business subject. So here you need to use worker business object. Then the function is extract multi instance. Click OK. Okay, so this is extract multi instance. So, okay, so here, um, you know, here also you will see the source field related business object condition. The occurrence is not here because we are not trying to get just one value. Okay, we are just trying to get the multiple values. Okay, so here if you see, there is the first field which you will see is operation type. Okay, so this field offers multiple operation types. So for example, here you will see subset, except intersection, union. Okay, so what are these things are? So let me create Okay, first of all, you know, let's understand subset. Okay, so let's say, you know, you have, uh, you know, this much of data. This is the bigger data. Okay, this this bigger circle, you have this much of data. Okay, but you don't want each and everything. Instead, you want a, a few things from, you know, this whole data. So basically, you know, let's say there are, uh, you know, four dependent. Okay, this bigger circle is representing four dependents and you don't want four dependent, you just need two dependents. Okay, so for example, you are, you, you are just looking for this much of, you know, value from this, you know, from this, you know, box, you can say anything. Okay, so basically you are trying to get a subset of this business object. Okay, then you will be using the subset function okay subset function in our case we are going to use subset function the reason is here we have you know all these dependent instances in which we don't need all the instances we just need the instances where the relationship is child so we are trying to get the subset of the larger object okay so this is one function subset function then we will be having intersection function so intersection function means when you will choose intersection function means intersection function means you can write multiple conditions. Okay, whoever will satisfy multiple conditions, then we know those will be picked up. So for example, the first condition is saying the employee belongs to US. Okay, the first condition is saying employee belongs to US. Okay. And the second condition is saying the employee should be, uh, yeah, I mean, employee's higher date should be after 2024, 1st Jan 2024. Okay. So basically, there are two conditions you need to define here. The employee must be, must belong to USA. And then, you know, employee must be hired in 2024. Okay, so here you can build multiple conditions. You can build two conditions. Whoever employees satisfy both the condition that will be picked up. Okay, so it will be like this one. Okay, this is condition one. This is condition two. And this, you know, the area in between this one. this one okay so you are trying to get this one this is condition one okay this is condition one this is condition two okay whoever is satisfying both the condition you just want that details okay so here you know this the common portion where you know both the conditions are satisfied that will be picked up if you use intersection operation type okay 
now the next is except okay so here you just remember there are four operations type so if i mention here operation types in extract multi instance which is subset then you have intersection then you have accept and then you have union okay so you know subset and intersection we discuss now let us discuss except so in except what happens basically there are two conditions okay you want to satisfy one condition basically you know what you want something like this employee should belongs to usa okay the location of employee should be usa but the hire date should not be greater than 1 1 2024 okay so you have two conditions okay the one condition is employee belongs to usa okay the second condition is employee should the employee's hire date should not be 1 1 2024 okay so in this case basically you are going to use the except so in this case basically you know this is the condition where it is saying employee this condition is saying employee who belongs to usa okay and this bigger circle you know this condition is saying the employee whose hire date is greater than 112024 okay so in this particular case if someone belongs to usa but the hire date is not greater than 112024 then you don't need that one so basically i'm just excluding that by this you know green thing so here in this particular case you just need you know this this value the gray one okay only one condition should satisfy the other condition should not satisfy okay so you need to write both the condition the one condition which should satisfy the other condition which should not satisfy that's how you know you are going to filter out so in those particular case you are going to use except okay now the next condition is union the next operation is union so union says if there are two condition okay if there are two condition if this is c1 if this is c2 if any of the condition satisfied then just pick the data okay if any condition satisfies just pick the data so for example employee we we want to get the details in a you know report something like this the employee belongs to usa or the employee's hire date is greater than 112024 okay either employee belongs to usa or employee's hire date is greater than 112024 okay in this particular case you are going to use union okay so you know let me just here write the example so employee's location for example usa australia india and then employees hire date may be no greater than 1 1 2024 or less than you know these are this is this is the scenario we have or less than 0101 2024 okay so in subset what will happen is if you just want okay so basically you have employees from multiple location if you if you let's say you want employ from location usa okay only one location so here what you are doing is you have employees in three location usa australia india okay but you don't want australia india you just want usa so you just did a subset okay in in all these three countries you just you are just pulling details of only one country that is usa okay so here this is a subset now intersection means employee location equal to usa and 
हायर डेट ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो वन जीरो वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इफ बोथ द कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड ओके देन यू विल गो फॉर इंटरसेक्शन ऑपरेशन ट्रिप ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल नाउ एक्सेप्ट सो नी एक्सेप्ट यू वॉन्ट ऑल द एम्प्लॉय उस लोकेशन इज यूएसए यूएस ए बट हायर डेट should not not greater than equal to 01 01 2024 20, so in this particular case if someone belongs to usa okay whose higher date is greater than 11 2024 20, that will also be excluded okay so if employee belongs to usa but higher date is greater than 11 2024 then that will also be excluded okay so this will only include employee who belongs to usa and higher date is not greater than 11 2024 okay and then union is employee belongs to usa or the higher date is greater than equal to 01 01 2024 so here in this particular case let's say there is employee ind1 okay whose higher date is whose higher date is 02 03 2024 okay whose higher date is 02 2024 so here in this particular case employee does not belongs to usa employee belongs to india okay employee belongs to india but the higher date is greater than 11 2024 okay so this will be picked up okay the another example is employee location is usa so employee let's say for example usa 1 okay and the higher date is uh let's say 0806 so this is less than okay so although this condition is not getting satisfied but this condition is getting satisfied this will be picked as well okay now are you clear with this operation types subset intercept intersection except union or any confusion you are having anyone lakshmi shalini karuna any question on this operation type no i am good okay so, okay cool so you know this operation type this is how it works now like extract single instance field you will be creating field for multi instance also so let's say we know we try to create except you know where I mean in our example basically in this example if we want to get all the details of the child all the instances of the child so let's see how can we get that so here you just use the subset in subset the source field is again dependent and the condition not is true in see the condition is relationship should be child okay so i already created that condition before so i can use that condition uh cf relation with child uh relation cf is child i think i created one on okay let me create another fresh condition see if relation ship is child on dependence let's say mention batch 2 
this is on dependent business object and the function is true false click ok here relationship relationship operator in the selection list in the selection list and here again just choose the relation whichever the relationship is child click ok now this will pull all the dependent details uh, you know whose relationship is child so click ok now let me show you how it looks like so where is my report now what is edit custom report ganesh uh yeah this one Here, let me add this on worker business object. Now click OK. The third field I have added, uh, you know, the EMI field. Run. Click OK. See here, this sleeve is having two child. Okay. See both the childs are coming in this extract multi instance field. Okay. Both the child are coming. Whoever is having three child. You know, three child are coming. Okay. So this is how we will get data in extract multi instance field. So are you clear now how exactly this EMI work? Yes, Ganesh. Okay. Cool. Yes, Ganesh. Now, uh, we know there, we know uh, this. Let me open this in you know, a report first. So basically, in LRV, lookup related value. You whatever you create extract single instance field. Okay, you will be able to use that field. But if you create, you know, this multi instance field, you won't be able to use that. Okay. So now if you need to extract, for example, there are multiple child details, right? There are multiple instances we have extracted. Now, if you want to get the names, you know, age of all those child in a separate column, okay. What you can do, do is you can just use this field as a business object. Okay, use this field as a business object and you can get that the fields whatever you want to you know see in the report for example here in the dependent for example here in dependence if you see you can just add that emi field like this as a business object and you will be able to pull legal name first name last name relationship date of birth is whatever you want to but you will not be able to create lookup related value that's the only clause so you got it right yeah.